Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So we are down in Swansea and I wanted to go into the uh, British Heart Foundation there. It's a big, massive store. Unfortunately, it's shut. So we can't get in there. So when we go into town, we'll go into the one which is in the center of town of Swansea. But I really would have liked to have gone in there. But we're going to walk over and I'll stick the camera up through the window and we'll have a quick look and see what's there. So yes, they probably couldn't get any volunteers in today, unfortunately. So let's have a look. And you will see, if I go up close to the glass like that, you'll see it's a really big store. It's a really big shop. Goes all the way back. Lots of furniture, as you can see there. Let's take a look around the other side. There we go. Up close, there we go. So you can see inside the store there, it's massive. I can't see. Any vacuums or washing machines they must be in another part of the store I can't see let's go around this is the biggest heart foundation I've seen let's take a look on this side clunk no I can't see a thing so maybe we'll get a chance and we'll get back here so I can take you inside but so for now we will head off into the city center and we'll take a look at the British Heart Foundation in there but that is one big store okay see you in a minute so we are in outside the British Heart Foundation in the center of Swansea and again they haven't got any volunteers to work today so I can't take you in here and this is basically the only day that we're coming into town so let's have a quick look at the window okay I can see a vacuum cleaner just there if you can see it can't work out what brought oh, to vax there's a vax machine there so if you can see there we go you can see it better there's a vax there and then in the background you can see over there there's a couple of washing machines uh, kitchen units a fridge well, that's all I can see. So unfortunately, guys, we're not going to get inside the British Heart Foundation today <laughs> for the second one. Hubby Lux is very happy of that. Oh, but damn. we will be calling into Carrie's PC World on the way home. So we know that that place is open. So at least we'll have a little look around there. So we're just going to go and have a mosey around town and do what we're going to do. And I'll take some video for you so you can see what the city looks like. So there we go, I've just had my haircut at Figaro's. There we go, Figaro's on Oxford Street. Highly recommended, fantastic place. Always come here, do a really good job. Um, so now we're gonna go into the market and uh, have a look around.
Okay, so we're back in the car. We have just gone and visited my grandmother. Hi, Nanny. Uh, so we are on our way now. So I hope you enjoyed the pictures and videos that I did. It's just the, the a little bit of the city center where we were walking around today. Um, it's a bit too dark and cold and damp for it to be to do for me to do more walking around. It's not. It's not. Doesn't look very nice in this weather anyway. Okay, so we're gonna head off. Let's go. Okay, so we are here at Carrie's PC World at Morva Park in Swansea. This is open until five o'clock today, so I know it's open. And we're gonna have a little wander around and see what's there. Plus, we're picking up something as well. Hmm, what can that be? Let's go find out. Okay, so let's do a little bit of voiceover. There we go, we have the Dyson robot. A couple more Dysons there. I like that one with the stripy coloured ball. That's the one I first saw in the States. Not bad prices. I don't think they were in the sale. Oh, there's some more there. I do. I think I've got one of them coming up soon. I think I've got a refurbed one. I think it's the same one I've got from Sam. Here we go. Here's all the... No, sorry. Not stick vax. Cordless vacuums. <laughs> Um, I didn't test them, any of them, because I'd already seen them. Um, now, the, are those two at the end there? Hang on. Oh, I do go back to it. Uh, here we go back to some of the um, more kind of like stick rack things. Not very powerful. These two at the end, I'd never seen them before. I hadn't seen them in the curry store in Grantham. Um, unfortunately, they didn't really have much um, battery power in them, so I couldn't give them a proper demo. Now, these mealers, inside this one, when I lift it up, if you have a look at the bag, see how it's got that transparent bit on it, like see-through? I wonder where you can get them. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know where you can get them, if anybody can let me know.
it's nice to be able to see some decent sort of like you know the SIBO vacuums there as well as the Miele and the pneumatic and Dyson as well as sort of like all the other ones sort of like the Vaxes and the Panasonics and the Bosches it's quite nice to see a whole range of machines in that mega store oh look I'm taking very a lot of interest in that SIBO hmm I wonder why So I was looking and I came across these Karcher ones and I saw that and first of all I thought it was one of like those old fashioned push it's like U-Bank style but when I had to look underneath it does have a proper motorised um, brush roll on it but unfortunately there was absolutely no power in it so I couldn't demo it, I couldn't even tell really how you switched it on I think there was a pedal at the side of it I think that pedal there on the side, I think that's what you used to start it off. I personally never seen one before and I thought it was pretty good. It would be nice to try one of them. Um, but unfortunately it had no charge. And there we go. The lovely Bissell Crosswave. Worth every penny. So we moved on upside, upside, upstairs, and um, oh, that's in Welsh, by the by the way, the second language down, it's in English, and then it's in Welsh. Um, as you can see, it's a huge mega store on two levels, with this huge mezzanine level. So I thought, oh, okay, let's have a little wander around and take a look at the washing machines. So here we are in the washing machine section and I decided to have a look at all the machines that they had there. Quite like the look of that one. I do like the look of these ones. Which are the AEG. Quite like the drawer. I have noticed that washing machine doors have become huge, seems to be the fashion. I liked that one next to it, the one with the sort of like the black on the insert of the 
door. I like that one a lot. That's a really good price for that washing machine, the Beko one. Again, I really like the door on it. Nice big door with a clear front. Lots of different colors it came in. I did find the drawers on that one a little bit plasticky, not very strong. for reliability and performance and whatever, but um, I definitely did like the look of the AEG ones. Grundig, so since my last video, I found out that uh, Grundig is also by Beko as well. I noticed that the drawers on it were pretty similar but I did like I do like the design of it I like the front for some reason it reminded me of a bit of like an old fashioned style I like the um, coloured drawer on the inside of that a blue one and the blue rubber seal as well I thought that was a bit unusual These were the Bosch ones. I, I do like the Bosch. <clears throat> From what I've gathered, I think the Bosch ones are very, very reliable. I think those are the ones that have the dosing thing on it. So you fill up the liquid or the um, softener and then it's um, added in by dosage. I think that's the dosage ones. Nice doors on it. Nice, nice closure on the doors. Nice solid closure. Nice draw on it. Nice um, door opening on it. That grey one's very nice. Huge selection of washing machines in the mega store. These are Axi. Um, I don't know who make them. I have absolutely no idea. Nice big drum on it. Oh, oh actually, yeah. If I, I looked at the... That's it. I noticed that. It says Hoover on it. So, Axi are owned by Hoover? Or is it the Hoover Axi? I don't know. But that's the dosage one as well. I think that's the Wi-Fi operated as well. Using your smartphone. Yeah, I like that one. That's quite a big load. That's a 10 kilogram Hoover. I like the way the doors closed on but see that happened so I did the first one and I was like oh gosh maybe it's just broken it didn't, you know from usage 
so I kind of like put me off. <laughs> that one was missing the dial, so somebody's obviously nicking the dial on that one. And then the same thing happened again. The draw came out, and I was like, oh, okay. So that, again, that kind of put me off. So I thought, right, okay, let's, I like the colour of that grey one. Again, tried the door. No, nope. the draw just came straight out. So I wonder if anybody else who has these have the um, same issue where the draw just comes out. I, I wasn't even... Kind of like pulling on it really hard. I was only pulling on it normal. And it, was, it wasn't going to the stop point. It was just coming straight out. And this happened to nearly all of them. That one didn't. That one was fine. Oh, hang on. No. <laughs> no. straight out I wasn't I pulled on that one very softly just to see that I wasn't being too heavy handed and no, I just came straight out but I, I noticed it's just like one singular piece of plastic with that stuck into it clipped into it nice long draws on that one very, very nice. I like the way the door opens as well from the top. Yep, I like that one. 270 quid, that was brilliant. Yep, I like that one. That looks really smart. I love that stainless steel one. sure what that draw is that comes out of someone will have to explain to me what that is for I like that one nice strong door on it yep at least the draw didn't come out on that one which is good I'm not a fan of that sock thing. I, I'm, I'm really just not a fan of it, to be honest. I think it's a bit of a gimmick. Oh, these were the hot point ones. I, I've had hot point ones in the past. I just that draw just didn't seem to be yeah a bit kind of yeah. button the, the dial was a bit cheapy plasticky feeling. Someone had nicked the dial off that one as well.
12.1, that was quite nice. I like the dial on that one, maybe a bit iffy. But the drawer on that was definitely stronger than the other one. strong draw doesn't move around but dials on it kind of basic but sort of like sturdy on it the door on the other hand I just don't think that was bolted on properly but it didn't really you know couldn't even shut it properly it didn't really show much for the um, quality of it but I did like the door that door was a bit wonky as well so I don't really know. Put me off. Kenwood, I don't know much about Kenwood. I like the design of it. The drawer was a bit flimsy, as you can see there, but quite a nice design. I like the inside of it, I like the design. Thumbs up for me from that one. A smart design on that one. I quite like the color of it. get the door open on that one I couldn't work out how to open it just wouldn't open it was locked I really liked the design on that one but then I found out I don't know what that is for I've got an indicator to tell you which way the door opens quite nice very nice machine but I just could not get that one to open so I thought maybe but no would not open draw on that one as well. Okay, yeah, Dial on it was nice and strong. Looks like you're working with that colour. Oh, it does, doesn't it? I'm fucking sweating. I'm only walking on. How can I be sweating? This is in case you uh, forget a sock. S stupid that is. How many socks do you forget? Is it that much of a hassle that you have to put your sock in if you forget it? Really?
so many washing machine brands to choose from it was it's <clears throat> quite daunting actually I, I like the look of that one with the silver and the black it looks very very smart but again a drawer just fell out I was like what really dryers I don't know what they like these days but in the past I've known people who've had washer dryers and they've had nothing but problems with them so I'm not really a fan of washer dryers but um, it, you know, it looked nice I quite like the design of that one as well with the white um, front. I like the design of the dial on it, which is the clear plastic with the white on the inside. And the door was like that, that matched. <coughs> quite like that. I think I had difficulty trying to open that one. <laughs> but then I found there was this. There's a little thing on the inside of it to open it. Quite a nice design. Yep. Thumb, super thumbs up for that one. <laughs> there we go. That's it. So, my little whippersnappers, I do hope you enjoyed that, going around looking at all the vacuums. A lot more range of machines in this one because this is a mega store compared to the one in Grantham, which is just like a little store. Uh, this one is a big ass Curry's PC World, so they had a lot more selection of everything in there, to be honest, uh, including washing machines. Now, I've decided, I, I kind of like going around looking at the washing machines now. And obviously because there wasn't much music playing in the background, I was thumbing up and thumbing down. I didn't want to, I'm good. Obviously I've done a, I'm saying this in retrospect, but I've done a commentary for it, obviously. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the commentary. I, I couldn't believe all of the Hoover machines, all the drawers just came out. Every single one of them, all the drawers. If, if you have, I know that um, Noel and I know some other people have got a Hoover washing machine. Does that happen to you? Does the drawer come all the way out? Or is it literally just wear and tear of the machines which are there in the in display in Curry? So please let me know. Um, the Hoover machines themselves, some of them I really did like the look of. There was that black and silver one and I thought that looked absolutely amazing. I loved the look of it, the black and the silver. Um, so again, I've gone for kind of like looks of the machine and also, you know, uh, the, the washing powder drawer if I felt it was a bit too flimsy I didn't find any of them that were that completely solidly you know in um, I haven't really paid much attention as I'm, I'm new to looking at all of that in curry so I th it's just for fun really so this is just for fun so please don't take it personal if you have one of these machines then that's absolutely fine it's entirely up to you my opinion is worth jack jack nothing so uh, yes yeah, so a bit of fun just having a look around so anyway we didn't come out empty-handed. We came back with something German, and it's sitting on the back seat. Now, what is it? <gasps> dun, dun, dun! Yes, it's a Thebo X7, the latest one out. Not the top of the range one with the light, because I've already got one of them. Have I, no, I haven't actually. What have I? More? <laughs> no, I haven't got one of them already. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Mila. I'm thinking of the Mila um, U7 or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm thinking of that. That, there we go. 
brand new inbox for Christmas, for New Year 2018, 2019. So I will be putting up the video of the unboxing. I'll probably do it tomorrow uh, at my sister's house. But uh, yeah, this is something new for the new year. Last year it was the Mila, this time we got the SIBO. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed just this quick flick around Swansea at the different stores. I'm gutted about the British Heart Foundation because I really, really wanted to go and have a look inside there, especially the mega store one that was near here, and also the one in town which was shut, but such a shame, Happy Lux is screaming, yay! Except last time we went into the British Heart Foundation in Swansea, I wasn't the one that came out with something, it was him. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all very, very, very soon. Have a fantastic new year. Please be safe. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's amazing that we have reached 2,000 subscribers. I am so happy. I cannot believe it. Uh, we reached 1,000 subscribers in the middle to late March of last year. And or this year, last year, 20, 2018. And uh, now we have reached 2,000 subscribers. So thank you very, very much for everything and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.